Kicking, it, kicking us off this evening is Angel Barber. Angel Barber is a 17 year old graduating from Frederick Law Olmsted this year. He plans on attending Buffalo State College for film with an African American studies minor. He is interested in film, photography, poetry, and visual art. His favorite novel is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Describing Angel's work, Theo writes, Angel manages to utilize figurative language and contrasting abstract and specific lines to move us. Angel and I have had so many conversations about one of our favorite topics, horror movies. His writing reveals that interest. Often blood soaked, examining the stains of humanity's dark impulses, our wounds, while still holding our beating, writhing hearts in its palm. Asking us to look and hold that heart close, even if it means getting a little blood on our cheek. So let's welcome Angel to the stage. Thank you, Robin. Okay, I have to pull them up really quick. So I have a few poems for you today, um, starting with one called Strangers. Waiting for an undoing, not of my own accord, to be cut down by a hand I don't know, but have held many times, by rocks who hold an unwavering gaze to waters crashing below, a stranger to yearn for my approval like a pearl, Cut from oysters we've enjoyed on dinner dates while sitting chest to chest, soaking up the entirety of the other's being. At night, we'll dance in the ballroom, set fire to the oceans in our stomach. When fatigue creeps in, our moves will grow tiresome. We'll lie in bed once again, chest to chest, under soft pale pillows and warm blankets. I will make the mistake of whispering in their ear trials of my past, pieces of me to be destroyed when set in the wrong hands. And they'll do the same, misguided, ritualistic youth. We'll engage in blood sacrifice without a thought of pathogens, leaking together palm to palm, so confident in the mystery lying next to us that we forget what it's like to not bear a soul. Naive to the flames of passion dying as the bed grows cold. When we're apart in totality, we'll carry the blood spilled that night as a reminder of what's to come. Alone again, now aware it's the only way to be. Like the trees we'll never know to have fallen or not. My transformations mean nothing without a witness. Till I reach the point where I can dance with a newcomer my baggage will be mine alone. All I've suffered won't be wrapped up neatly in a sonnet. No warm bodies can bear their share of pain. I walk in solitude, deciding every day who will see my cold blood. Cloaked figures of the night who know nothing that decide they'd like to feel the pain of foreign hands once again. And I do too. The second one is called The Gay Black Men Who Didn't Make It. How will I feel about ghosts come morning? Will the weight of my brothers sink past shallow end? When I drowned in footsteps, was his pain worth a swim? Did he ever think about me? Probably not. Too busy running from cops, bruised up in cold air, too poor and sick to sustain, but too young and free to care, not free at all, chained and institutionalized, locked inside his own mind, living in these horrors so eloquently, I wish to know his intentions. But is there ever intention in oppression? Choking up while I fucking the beast wasn't an option back then. Myths of tragedy, it's safe to say, he wasn't thinking about me the fruit of his labors, and I do not think of him. Homeless on the street, 
the men in pain, I turn a blind, guilty eye. This third one is called Notes in Jeans. I wanna be first on the list you carry in those denim jeans from day to day. The one that tells you how to live and what for. Home with me or on an offshore island, ferry away from the land that brought you shelter, warmth, and bulletin boards. Somewhere I've never known, far from any seeds we've sown together. Folded up in those denim jeans lies home a reminder to get you through wash after wash. Paper, hydrogen bonds between cellulose fibers get broken down but never tear. Staying strong for the days you need a push but can't seem to reach the phone. Or the fruits have withered, love has drifted, the barrel is barren. At the end of our days, I hope you find my presence at the center of your whirlwind. Nothing like a glimmer an ample morph defined as more than just a trickle through the cracks of a leaky ceiling, and the genes we set you down to rest in will say it all. This next one is called Mirrors. A poo bear says he stained off the honey head found inside the hive. We share the same genetic makeup, same pull of deck. My two face will fold when sees a jack, a bigger man to beat up on his chest or lie over it. The former is a ladder to salvation, but the latter lacks the same punch and I would miss the fact that I can bruise. Something I carry like a secret in my pocket when the going gets tough and I'd rather be sedated. The drugs are far away like my conscience and he's closer, breath potato chippy like a chip weighing down my shoulder. He's counting down for embrace, but I'm set to detonate because all I've ever known is the taste of destruction. The hand I hold is hairy, firm and sweaty, but he's loyal, faithful, irregardless of my changing toils. Capacity for reason dwindles as the sun sets. I'm sensitive, I swindle, and I hate when night turns into dawn. Merely upon going through the motions, growing pains, gnawing what you thought you knew, but it's a little different. The kind of love can mirror Love is love, but love is rough, and mirrors just reverse what once was what put through. It makes me blue to think the left side of my brain controls the right side of my body, but look at all it can do. It makes me think and see, outlines my little box, the same box I'll carve a hole shaped just like you. This next one is called Metals. The enemy approaching is no excuse to lie in bed. Incessant taunts once drove, drove you deeper into pink plush blankets, but no more. You climb atop the merciless figure, snuff out his sorrow, like a champion weighed down by metals crushing rib cages. endorphins run rampant within, without a body, into the blue. Metals leave indents on soft brown skin. Whispers, whisper dreams of excess to the clavicle who travels giddily towards the heart, blissfully ignorant of naivety, dangerously unaware of malice, intentions carried by tokens, manufactured with no soul. This next one is called Circle of Life. Dead eyes set on their own consumption, like a tongue poking inwards. I wonder how you taste. Your salty tears are trained to perform. Applause from the crowd like the finest day you've ever had. Scratches on my brain from poking and prodding, squeezing, seeking release or explanation. Sweet nothings of a boy who made you this way. A man who skinned your knees. A giant who loved too much or one who loved too little a body of students spending time outside of classes, the one who fiddled around with his musings. This next one is called Fighter. I'll be a fighter. Lie my rose down in a bed of green blur, prick my finger on the stem and watch the blood drip down, a drink for our first mother. 
Go on through the blur of green. Your fire lies not on the ground for heat rises. Stumble away from the beauty of a flower, tripping on grass not made with you in mind. Fall like one day you know your legs won't work. The ground below won't swallow us whole. Suspending the belief of a chosen path and opening our arms to a new slaved reality. I have two more. This one's called Remains. I like classical music because everyone is dead. All sins are washed away. The shifty hands of a violinist, the shifty hands of a violinist <laughs> pass no more through impressionable corsets. Purified by the fall that never feeds, taken by she who never gives, eating away at what was once whole, screaming, because you're only there when you die. Only pass through the mines in a casket. My peace comes from the graveyard. I nudge around for a place I can be. Screams of the living ring from above. Strings down below are the ones held dear. Violinists lie still. Blind to the troubles left behind. Sifting through broken remains. Quiet, a choice no more. Silence remains, remain. And this final one is called Love Versus Lust. It's a summer day, I can tell by the smell, and fate holds plans for the night. The condom tucked away in the apartment elevator wonders, why must we hide these grand displays of affection? Love and lust ring out the same when shame is washed away, like flowers and water wilt faster than sweat drips down my back. I drink all the milk from the gallon, for I might expire tomorrow. Thank you.